Um, it's been a minute, yeah. I promise I'll be doing more of this often. Um, today I want to show you or share with you something about the Corona Rendra. I get a lot of people these days asking some questions, so I want to share with you one of the things that I've learned about Corona Rendra. So, when you install Corona Rendra, you have these options and settings to work with. But then there's this one thing that's uh, very interesting and then I think it will help speed up our workflow. So I wanted to share with you today. So quickly, you go to the option called Cosmos Browser. So when you click on Cosmos Browser, it works with the internet. So you have to get your internet active before you can use the Cosmos Browser. So when you open the Cosmos Browser, this is not the interface you get from the stats. You have to sign up and then when you sign up, it will take you to your web browser to sign up and then this one will be active for you to use so the they have this is a corona library which has a lot of assets and they are still updating it from time to time so sometimes when you open it will tell you that they have been updates so you have to update it yeah when you update you get the new assets they've added into your assets library so i think i updated um some few days ago and then it's showing me the new things they've added so when you get it it will show you new 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 if that new stuff they've added yeah so you can search by name what you want and then you if they have it it will pop up for you probably you might get options or it will be a one thing for you to download yeah so yeah you search by name and then you get what you want so i can search for you have your search history also here so these are some of the things that i've searched for so i can click on one of them and then you'll be giving um options of what you need that has glass or the type of glass you want provided if you find any that interests you inside here you can download for your use so when you download the things you download will have a blue check mark and then which means you have downloaded them yeah and then you can you can search by models there are options here, furniture, accessories, light, vegetations, um, vehicles, people. So as and when you click on it, um, it will bring a pop-up of some of the things that you might want to download. Even with that, when you come to models and you come to probably furniture, you can search as well what you want from the furniture section yeah and then you can search for materials so um the leading ones are checked because i have downloaded them yeah so that is that so you can search by break and then there are a couple of options for you to search if you, what you are searching, you can't find it quickly, then you have to go and search from this, um, the search bar. Then they have HDRI, so you can download them and use them as in how you want. Down, there is a check, Google for download desktop. Then there is this, um, arrow in yellow when you see that it was you have downloaded that item but then there's an update for it so you have to now it's showing update as lapel so you have to click on it and then update it but usually when there is a new update you come inside the 
the Cosmos browser and then it will notify you that there has been update so it will it will add to it and then you can also update specific items as and when they improve on it then you can come to creators so there are options here for um collections sorry so you can search for me but i don't usually use this place um everything i think it's in here and here collections and creators are all in this three so you can search through this so i'll go back to all assets Oops. so models all assets and then you will get um everything in all assets including for models including human beings animals and a lot of things then you have downloaded so downloaded will show you the things that you have downloaded so far so as and when you want to reuse it you can come back and then pick them up and then reuse it yeah then we have the likes i haven't liked anything so there's nothing here for me if you you like a particular thing you can like it and then it will show up here then update so specifics so all these needs to be updated because they have improved it so you need the internet to work for this so how then do you use this models how do you download when you download how do you use it um so i'll go to download it that is why i've already downloaded stuff so let's say i want to use this chair right here this arrow right here will help you down um download it this is already downloaded so it will help you import so the moment you click on it, it says asset import in progress where does it go your cinema 4d is already open so the moment you import it goes straight into maxon now when you open it it appears as a bounding box and you can't see anything so you click on it and then go to visualization method it says wire bounding box so you go to full mesh then you will see the assets you brought in over and then when you go to the material section it will show you the materials it came with um these are already stuff that i brought in so the so far so these three materials are what it came in with then you can edit the materials too yeah so the material looks blurred in this way because the preview um viewport side sizes um very small so you can increase it so that you can see the material that you put in very well yeah yeah so uh, when it comes like this it's less dense because of the way they package this for you so your show will not be very heavy but if you want to edit this chair right here you have to make it editable so that you can edit it so now you have the option to edit the parts in the object but then the moment you make it editable you have a lot of subdivisions to work with which will make your scene very dense so if if it's uh if you are not going to edit the object there's no need making it editable so that it will help with your scene yeah but if you want to make some changes you can make it editable you can retexture it to 
and then yeah you can use it for whatever you want to use it for so yes that is all that i want to share with you today there are lots of us as they keep on updating you when you are in a hurry and you you are not bounded to modeling to specifics specific things that your client will request for you can just hop in here and see if you can get one or two things for your sleep so thanks for watching the tutorial and then i'll see you next time